tell our council person to introduce an amendment to the emergency ordinance this Tuesday to demand a retroactive eviction moratorium for tenants who received evictions or unlawful detainers through the substantial remodel eviction loophole. We need a retroactive moratorium. We don't need them to defend themselves in court. The new landlord, his name is Brad Johnson. He has illegally increased the rent um, up to 500, 500 more than what we were paying. And he also wants to increase the um, down payment. So basically he wants to, us to sign a new contract, a new um, de security deposit and a new rent increase, which is illegal, which is $500 or more. And um, he, they illegally came into apartments and um, supposedly fixed everything that needed to be fixed. But everything's falling apart now. They did everything during the pandemic, which was, they, they started in late March. And they came to work in my apartment late, I mean, early July. Um, they went in there with no face mask, no nothing, no protection uh, for, for, from us or us from them. And um, right now, the, he, the landlord also got the security doors taken out of the uh, outside of the apartment complex, which makes it... Um, makes us vulnerable for people to walk in there, take our stuff, steal our, our stuff that we have, like our, they, I even got in my broom and my dustpan stolen from out there. And then we have um, a whole bunch of homeless people walking around doing stuff they're not supposed to be doing. Some of them have even been having, you know, relations back there in the, next to our windows. And um, so, so our, the kids are scared because we have no protection at all. My mother was just recently telling me right now that somebody last night was knocking on her window. There's no protection at all. They can just walk in behind the, the apartments and do whatever they want. Mm -hmm.